The not 250 by 40 brake shoes are the most difficult to fit. These are often found on three and a half ton trailers. The reason that they are the most difficult to fit is this bracket that holds the shoe, holds the shoes back that is located between the spring and the expander. To remove the shoes, you need to push the spring in and release it. It's held on into a dimple in the back of the back plate onto this small hook here. To remove the shoes, you need to lever one shoe out of the adjuster, like so, removing pressure. Then remove the other side when the expand the adjuster quite often falls to pieces like so this is only on Ivor Williams where the orientation of the brake shoes is like this on many others the adjuster is at the top and the wedge does not fall out of the adjuster once the tension is taken off cross the shoes over it releases from the expander and the shoes can be removed. Then the cable eyelet needs to be removed from the end of the cable, allowing the brake cable to be pulled off the back. It's then better to then remove the brake cable and cover plate to fit later. Refitting the brake shoes is quite difficult. Uh, first thing that I always do is get a little bit of grease and apply this to the adjuster wedge. This helps the adjuster wedge stay in place and not drop out. The expander needs to be assembled onto the eyelet and the slot on the eyelet needs to be in line with the missing part of the uh, cable cover plate. Then run the brake shoes either side of the bracket, drop the expander in place and open the shoes out, hooking one side on, making sure that the spring is on the rear side of the shoes. When the expander is fitted, the operating side always pushes the fixed shoe. The other spring then needs fitting, that hooks on to the fixed shoe and then behind the slipper shoe. Once this is done, with a small pry bar, you can extend the shoes out and onto the brake adjuster like so. Then the spring needs refitting, lining the hook up with the slot, push it through the hole and hook it into the dimple on the back of the plate. Once the shoes are fully assembled, you can then get the cable, thread it into the eyelet on the back and replace the cover plate. allowing your brakes to work like so.